Bs Boxing Gym in Sheffield is home to the GB Boxing Team. Boxing's world-class performance programme is widely known for being one of the most successful in the high-performance system. UK Sport Chair Dame Catherine Granger visited GB Boxing's headquarters to meet the boxers, coaches and EIS support staff and learn about the programme's ethos and culture. It's an incredible set -up. I mean, I've, I'd heard loads of good stuff before I came, um, but it's, you have to experience it for yourself. It's, an, it's, it's, such a, it's such a wonderful mix. It feels like a very professional setup. They've got some amazing staff, coaches, support staff, medical backup, brilliant athletes. It's got a really relaxed family feel. They, they've just got it right on the atmosphere. It's something you want to come, you want to train. The facilities are incredible, and they use the whole building, the whole EIS. They use every part of it to their, their advantage. And we're, we're in among these great names around every wall of past Olympic medalists. So, you know, the whole thing's very motivating. One of the most impressive of GB Boxing's world-class facilities is the state-of-the-art hypoxic boxing ring. EIS physiologist Laura Needham explains the benefits of having access to the ring and the physiological adaptations the boxers experience through using it. It's really changed uh, the way that we prepare for competition. Um, so we'll use it in the builder and it's definitely something that the boxers say they feel benefit from. Um, and also just not only do we know that the physiology and the physiological adaptations that it promotes is, is brilliant, um, but also actually the, the feeling of just kind of in the ring, they say it replicates that which is quite hard to do in a training program. It's a brilliant way for athletes to, to benefit from from altitude, boxing at altitude on ground level, but also from the science point of view, a really interesting sort of where science can take you, where science can lead a sport in places that they've never been before. Fraser Clark has been with GB Boxing for nine years and spoke about how the culture and environment of the programme has impacted on the results achieved by the boxers in recent years. You soon realise what you're expected to do and it is okay, you can, we can have the biggest laugh in the world in this gym but we have to get the work done at the same time. So I think it's one of them environments where hard work is, you know, the emphasis of what we do but then at the same time we can have fun with it and, you know, if everyone's smiling at the gym, everyone works better, makes for a good, make, you know, gets results, but what we do gets results. For another perspective, we asked what it's like to work as a practitioner in the sport. Um, so no day is, is dull, <laughs> I would say. Every day is fun at work um, and it's a real diverse mix of people um, and boxes and, and everyone brings, um, everyone's here for the same reason um, and that's to be the best that we can be and support that person um, to make it GB Boxing Performance Director Rob McCracken has overseen a period of unprecedented success at GB Boxing since he was appointed in 2009. He shares his view on why the programme has been so successful. It has to be relaxed and it has to be a friendly environment, but you know, when there's time to work and now there are times to train, then they're serious and they work hard. At the same time, they have to sleep, they have to rest, so we try and work it so they get enough rest in the day and they do enough hard work in the day and they work on things and they improve and develop on a daily and an hourly basis. We have a duty of care from the moment they arrive here and not all of the boxers are going to become Olympic or world or European medalists. You know, Our job is to, is to make them better, improve them as, as not just boxers, as, as people as well. And, and they fulfil their potential in, 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 in both parts. And, you know, a duty of care for me and for us is that they leave better people and they leave with more opportunity available to them in, in the world and the society when they leave here, whether they become an Olympic champion or not. So what did Dame Catherine Granger take away from her visit to Sheffield? I had very high expectations, I'll be honest, with boxing, because everyone before I got here spoke about what an amazing programme it was and how it really is sort of best practice. Um, and it's lived up to it's lived up to those high expectations because the culture is great. The, you know, the athletes are, are I spent a lot of time with them both in the in their training venues but also in their houses where they live together. And um, they've just got a brilliant attitude. They just they're obviously loving it, they're thriving in it. They, a lot of them don't want to leave it. I don't blame them, I don't want to leave my sport. Um, but it's just the relationship with the coaches and the athletes, and in, in what would you think is quite a tough sport, it's just incredibly supportive um, and challenging in all the right ways, just very encouraging, uh, really lets athletes lead on certain areas um, and pushes and drives at the same time. So it, it just shows when it's when you can get it right, you get it really right. <laughs>